Boomtown coverage. As Arizona continues to grow, communities like Gilbert, they are really becoming a boomtown. But new developments, well, they're not always welcome. Right now, time is running out to save the second oldest building in Gilbert from being destroyed and replaced with a nightclub. We've learned the Claire House is 106 years old and is set to be torn down unless organizers can raise about $100,000 over the next few days. So 12 News journalist William Pitts, he shows us why they're still hopeful even though they are way behind on fundraising. Walking through downtown Gilbert, there's a lot of new buildings, a lot of new bars, and then right in the middle, one of these things that's not like the other. This was originally the residence of Forrest Clare and uh, his sheet metal shop. Gilbert was the hay capital of the world at the time. You're looking at the second oldest building in, in Gilbert. The second oldest building built in 1918, right next to Dirks Bentley's Whiskey Row, built in 2017. One little house right in the middle. Just like the Pixar movie Up, one little house. And in fact, people online have suggested at some point, hey, maybe we just tie balloons to it and we can float it down the street. So long, I'll send you a postcard. Floated away because unless a miracle happens, the Claire House is about to be demolished. <laughs> Unfortunately, your balloons would be a crane and a big flat <laughs> truck and cost $130,000. That, that is absolutely correct. Casey Kendall is the chair of the Redevelopment Commission. He wants the house saved but needs a lot of help. They have about 23 grand. They need a total of $130,000 by Monday. I understand as cities grow, we have to kind of grow with them but you're not going to find a house that's 106 years old anymore. There is support out there. Julia Taggart is the president of the Sunny Slope Historical Society. When I saw Gilbert was going through it, I wanted to help them as much as possible because I would have loved for Sunny Slope to save some of their buildings. It's not on the historic register. Till recently, it was a coffee shop. The developer's plan is to bulldoze the house for another location of the Scottsdale Bar Bottled Blonde. Kendall and Taggart's plan would be to pick the house up and move it to the Gilbert Historical Museum, where people could see the house as it is and was. Sure, you can take some pieces, but it's not going to be the same as having it at the museum where people can learn from it and kind of see what was it like to live back in 1918. But $100,000 in 72 hours is an uphill battle. The bulldozers won't be coming Monday morning, but Kendall says the developer needs to know by then if they'll have the money. And Kendall is optimistic for a historic Hail Mary. Um, but I think that with a few key donations, uh, we can get the house uh, saved and moved. In Gilbert, William Pitts, 12 News. All right, so if you would like to support them, we do have a link for the fundraising website online right now at 12news.com.